Welcome to another AAUNG tutorial. In this video, we'll see how easy it is to integrate AAUNG with ServiceNow. Let's begin. From the AAU Live dashboard, let's navigate to the modules view found under configuration. In the modules view, we will find our core components and integration. Let's define a new module for ServiceNow. Enter in the module name, select the module type, select where the module will be installed on. Usually it will be in installed on the local host. Now let's select the device where we'll install the module on. Once that's done, let's click the save button. Now we can fill in the connection parameters. We'll fill in the ServiceNow URL, username, and password. Let's hit the test connection button to establish a connection. Now we can click on the save button to save our module. Once the module status is up, we can go ahead and click on the extend button here. Now we can begin to import your ServiceNow forms. Today, we're going to discover our change request form. We can click on this binocular button to auto discover the change request form. Once the form has been discovered, we can start to monitor the any kind type of updates for this change request form. By default, the monitoring interval is set to 10 seconds. This can be changed at any time. We can go ahead and create filters and mappings for our change request form. We can create a filter to listen to specific change request forms, depending on the relation. Now hit the mapping button to map the ServiceNow properties to AUNG variables. The screen basically replaces the tag mechanism when it comes to incoming ServiceNow requests. Using it, you can define what value will be assigned to the incident variable without having to create a new tag. Use the severities mappings in order to translate ServiceNow severities into AU and G severities. Note that you can assign a static severity or a customized severity depending on the relevant field in the form. Use the state mapping to translate ServiceNow states into AU and G states. Note that once again, you can assign a static state or a customized state depending on the relevant field in the form. Finally, we can hit save to update the filters and settings. In order to initiate a workflow triggered by an oncoming request, we need to create a new trigger in the policy actions. Let's go ahead and navigate there now. Let's create a new trigger. Each trigger is based on a condition and a workflow that should be executed when the condition is matched. Let's give our new trigger a name. Now let's create a new condition for our trigger. Let's go ahead and name our new condition.
our condition is based on two elements, the service node short description and the state. Under the condition clause, we would have cho chosen and because we will need to have both of these condition logics to apply for the workflow to trigger. Let's go ahead and save our new condition. Now let's associate the workflow we'd like to run with this trigger. Once that's done, let's go ahead and click on the save button. Now that we have our trigger created, let's head over to our ServiceNow instance to create a new change request record. Let's go ahead and fill out all the required fields for this record. Once all the required fields are fill filled out, we can go ahead and schedule this new change request. Now, let's head it back over to AAUNG. We can navigate to our audit trail to see any new incoming events that are being pulled or pushed into the solution. As you can see, we have a new incoming event. We can see all the results and activity that all the activities being executed and we can see the results of each of these activities. We can see that the workflow is being paused and awaiting approval from the system administrator. Let's go ahead and navigate to our Slack bot here where the Slack bot is waiting for approval. We're gonna go ahead and approve this request. The new VM has been provisioned and the service ticket now ticket has been updated. Going back to our audit trail, we can see that the rest of the workflow has now been completed. Now let's jump into the workflow designer. In the workflow designer, we can click on the open workflow folder here and we can choose which workflow we'd like to open. In our case, we're gonna open the workflow that was just executed. We can see the pre-built workflow on the, our GUI within the workflow designer. To the left, we're gonna find the toolbox which contains a list of activities. We can go ahead and click on, on our ServiceNow integration tab to see all of the available ServiceNow activities ready to use within the workflow designer. Moving on to the workflow. The first activity in the workflow is a split activity. This activity will split the assigned to text from the incoming ServiceNow record. The output of this activity will be a table. The next activity is the get cell value activity. This activity will extract a specific row and column from our split activity. In our scenario, it will retrieve the user's assigned to user's first name. The Slack start conversation activity is used to generate a conversation ID for our Slack bot. The Slack send message activity is used for the bot to communicate to the user. In our scenario, the bot is going to request the system administrator for a, the approval process. The next activity is the eval statement branch. Depending on what the system administrator responds with, we can have two different types of paths being executed within our workflow. 
If the system administrator replies to the bot approving the permission by entering yes, we will go down this branch where we will have an AWS launch instance activity and this will launch a new AWS VM. After that, the ServiceNow update record activity will update the following ServiceNow record and updating the priority as well as a short description informing that the request has been approved. The last activity we have in the workflow is the Slack send message. The Slack bot will send a message to the system administrator at informing him that the VM has been provisioned and the ServiceNow ticket has been updated. This concludes our ServiceNow integration demo. For more information, please visit our website at www.aehu.com.